So I had the set come in today. It's the A10 series Sony LCD projection TV. I wanted to show it to you real quick. Came in and it had a bunch of uh, green blobs in the picture. And um, I've done the other videos on repairing the LCD panels on these TVs. And um, I'll show you what was going on with this one. It's actually the polarizer that was having the problem on this particular TV. As you can see, it's very distorted, uh, very burnt. That's what was causing the blobs in the picture very badly. Um, I'll show it to you on the same trick I showed on the other sets where you hold it up to an LCD monitor and as you rotate it, I should be able to get it to go very dark, but it still has these lines in the picture. It's not doing its job whatsoever. But let me show you the, um, the actual LCD panel assembly in this TV real quick. So if you remember the other videos that I made on these particular TVs, we talked about removing the LCD panels off of the uh, optic assembly here and replacing defective ones with good ones. But as you can see, uh, there's no screws that hold these in place. They're held in place with these uh, little um, glue tabs that are preset at the factory. Just for comparison, I've got another optic block here out of an, another LCD TV. And you can see this one does have the, uh, the screws that you can take out to do the alignments of the replacement panels. Panels look to be pretty close. They are physically just a little bit smaller in size. I don't know if you can pick that up on the video here or not, but physically they are just uh, ever so slightly smaller in size. But uh, if you ever had one of these that was defective, the only hopes you could ever have would be to uh, find somebody that has a complete optic block assembly that's still in relatively good shape and just go ahead and purchase that if you could to repair these TVs. Um, these are even held in much differently. Uh, it's got the four screws at the bottom of, of the uh, optic block assembly that hold these uh, in. So a little bit more difficult to get them disassembled. But let me show you what I believe is the main cause that this LCD polarizer here um, actually failed. Just in case you were curious, the LCD panels between the older series sets that use the XL2100s and the XL2200s and the newer series that this one particularly uses an XL2400 lamp, the A series, uh, they are not compatible between the two. You can see the physical size difference between the two LCD panels here. There's quite a difference between them and the mounting is much different as well. So there's unfortunately no way that you could try to put an old LCD panel into a new set. It uh, it just doesn't line up correctly. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's it it sets much lower. It needs to set up a little bit higher here. But I just uh, thought I would show you that I have a old blue polarizer here that I've changed, as well as the new blue polarizer that was out of the defective TV, and just thought I'd show you the actual difference between them here. So here's the uh, engine with the um, polarizer taken out. It, it, it mounts right here. So I've removed the polarizer to show you that it was defective. And um, as you look at this engine, it's got an uh, air filter over here to keep dust particles from settling. Let me see if I can get a close-up of it here. It is just really packed. It should be bright white, but you can see how much dirt and dust has accumulated on this filter and um, I do believe that that is probably a major contributing factor to the overheating of this uh, polarizing filter right here. Anyhow I just wanted to do a real quick uh, video on this one and show you what I found uh, on the A series because I know I, uh, I posted that I would try to do a video on the A series as soon as possible and uh, here it is unfortunately like I said if you do have to ever try to repair one of these LCD assemblies you'll have to try to get one as a complete set because they're fixed at the factory. Just another um, way to save cost and lower the price of these TVs a little bit in manufacture. But anyhow that sets in right there so 
you can uh, basically see what kind of disassembly I had to do to get to that. Uh, hopefully we'll be posting some new videos shortly. And uh, for everybody who has subscribed, I appreciate it. And keep watching for more um, TV repair tips. Have a great day.